Hi. Hey, everybody. Hello. Why, hello there. Hey. Konnichiwa. This is the show with the no name. What do you call it? Uh, Good Morning America. Oh, no one's yeah. used that before. No one's used that before. Trademarked. Uh, no. Here we stamp, go. Stamp it. Here we are. Boom. Our show. Good morning, Good morning, America. Good morning, America. Good morning. Good morning. And the rest of the world. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Good morning, Every other country world. that watches us. Oh, yeah, I guess we should say we have Mari on the show today. Yeah, we got oh. Mari back with us. Oh, yeah. That's me. Yeah, hey. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm fantastic. I believe is what you. I am. No, that's not that's not real. That's just a word that I threw out there. Hey, we got some art. We got some art. <laughs> uh, so okay, this one comes from uh, Arabella at A A A Strup, and oh my gosh. Oh, ooh, I like that. That's us uh, at the streamies, streamies. Uh, without faces. I but love but that. even without the faces, you can tell who's who. Yeah. Oh, totally. You can see some of your buff arm there. Yeah. Yeah, I, some of your frog legs. That's on. Olivia. Yeah, that's Olivia's Olivia. super buff yeah. arm right there, obviously. They know my body better than me because they just <laughs> drew it without any body parts, and it's still me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just air, but you're like, that's definitely <laughs> that's where my body <laughs> would go. <laughs> right there. It's, it's like, like no, Mari, like, that's oh, Kim Kardashian. She's <laughs> <laughs> got a better body than Kim Kardashian. Ooh. 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 Because I got three Ooh. boobs. And you're real. That's right. Yeah, and you're 100% real Angus B. Yeah. <laughs> Olivia's just full of compliments today. <laughs> Here's some oh. more 100% real more art from you guys. Yeah! Oh. Oh. I love art, thou more art. Okay, uh, I guess uh, on to our first question. Yes. Oh. Um, Let's do it. All right. Right into it. Sorry. Yeah, let's do it. Let me ask. <laughs> let me read the question. Can you read the question, please? Yes. Yeah, Shane, do it. I'm so you, excited. I, Shane, what's oh my the God. answer that I should Is say? Is it a boy or a girl asking? Who did Wait, the question? Wait, don't tell me. <laughs> I want to ah! ask the question right now. Spookyless Brook at Brooknet, would you rather be a unicorn or a mermaid? Oh. <laughs> Uh, easy. This is so easy. <laughs> They're very this is easy. So easy. Very We're all. Shame. Let's say it at the same okay. time. Okay. One, one two, two, three. Mermaid. <laughs> what did you say? Both. You, you can't know. say both. You don't get to be both. My God. Why are wait, you so we, mad at me? Wait, so wait. So wait. wait, wait can we talk you? about how horrifying that would be? You're at the beach. You're at Venice <laughs> Beach. You're at Venice Beach, and you see That's a half horrifying. horse with a fish tail. Dude, that cut, character just like, exists. And just like, like, like. It's a real thing. Goes, uh, what is it? Uh, no, that's uh, called a nightmare. I've definitely read a book with that in it. Uh, what books are you reading? I don't remember, I don't remember a lot of my childhood. I think that was from a nightmare. Probably. It could also it be a centaur if nope. you only took the yeah. top half of a mermaid, True. which is useless because it's just a person who wants to be a person. But I would yeah, agree I the correct answer is mermaid. Because like, we are just, I mean, you, when you're a unicorn, you just kind of experience the world as a horse. And you're gonna get shot. Yeah, and you're gonna get experimented on and not trusted. Yeah, yeah. if you're a mermaid, um, you could go to the depths of the earth. You could explore the ocean. Dude, there, even you are what is prey. it, 95% hasn't been explored? I think it's more than that. We, yeah. we know more about space than we do about our own ocean. This is true. Wow, there oh, it is! See, it's is beautiful! Okay, okay. That's a unicorn okay. mermaid! Yeah, but yeah. but it's so useless because the, the but that's a, that's it can't a, breathe underwater. You don't know that. Because it's a unicorn. Look at those, it's got gills And unicorns don't have gills. Yeah, everybody knows that. It's like one of those it's like those fish that don't actually live in the water, they just live in the mud. Have you seen those? Mud mud. Oh, mud kits. Mud, yeah. mud kits. fish, yeah. yeah. Mud yeah. Kits. Fish. They uh, they can breathe air. They're uh, they're fascinating creatures. Yep. They climb trees. And they don't qualify for most types of loans. <laughs> what color or fin would you guys have if you were mermaids? Ooh. Uh, uh, ooh, this is a good question. I've never been asked. I'd probably this go with blue so that I could I could camouflage better in the oh, water. That's cool. Compare so that I'd I... go with like black because I'm like a goth mermaid. That's probably good that's too nice. for blending in too. You're like a mermaid yeah. that listens to you don't uh, my want like romance. Oh my god, MCR. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's my life. You don't want anything like sparkly or shiny or like you. No, would be a no, target. you don't want that. When it comes mm -hmm. to being a mermaid, you don't want that. <laughs> Music Man 15 says, What was the most tense and nervous moment you've ever had? Tense? Oh, I've got a good one. I've got one, but it's kind of dark. Don't so, worry. my brother and I went camping, just the two of us, in Aspen one summer. It was July, a couple years ago, and uh, 
went up, just took his truck up and uh, parked way in like, there's all these campsites, it's way up in the mountains. And our campsite was like a mile away from any of the other campsites. Like, so we're kind of isolated <coughs> and we're like, oh, it's, it's okay, it's fine. Like it's right by this, this road. And uh, we set up our tent and we're like hanging out, having a good time. And a park ranger comes by in the afternoon and he goes, hey, so make sure you hang up your food because a 500 pound black bear was spotted mm -hmm. near camp two last night. No big deal. So just make sure your food's hung up and sealed away and everything. So it goes away, we're like, oh crap, like 500 pound black bears nearby, that's, that's definitely scary. And in that moment, I had one of those moments where I was just like, this is, this is bad. Like, I'm just like, I know this is going to be a thing. <laughs> My brother goes, well, I don't have a rope, so uh, we're not gonna hang up the food, but I've got it uh, triple sealed in this plastic uh, uh, case. So we'll have it in the passenger seat of my truck, which here's, oh, our, no. here's our tent, here's the truck, and here's the passenger side on the right side of the, the truck. And he's got it all sealed up, locks the truck, everything. So we hang out, we go to bed that night, and I'm going to bed going, we're gonna get mauled by a bear. I'm just Aww. like, I know it, I know we're gonna get mauled by a bear. But my brother has bear mace and a little hatchet. Uh, ah! he's, like, he's like, don't worry, we got bear mace. And I'm like, okay. Uh, <clears throat> so we go to bed. I keep waking up in the middle of the night hearing sounds, but there's usually just raccoons and squirrels and birds. And so it's usually nothing. At about 4 a.m., I think it was, I wake up and I hear this like padding. I hear this like. Oh God. And I, it's like, you can definitely hear it. And then I hear it in the bushes. <laughs> and I'm, I'm in my tent. Here's the, the edge of the tent. Why do you sleep like a mummy? I, well, I'm, okay, I'm just in my, I'm just like, I'm, I'm floating three inches off the ground. <laughs> I'm in my sleeping bag and I, I hear <laughs> literally like, up against the tent, I hear. Oh God. <sighs> And I'm like, there's a bear <laughs> right Holy here. Holy And I'm like, ah, like just like, I'm just like oh, dead shit. And I'm, I'm just like completely still. Like my rabbit instincts come in, I'm completely still. I look over and I just see the still of my brother just like this. <laughs> <laughs> we're both, we're, we're both. both, we're both just dead. <laughs> so I, I, before I even looked, I'm like, I know he's awake. I know we're both awake right here. And then it leaves, oh, goes away from the tent. We're like, I'm just like. And then all of a sudden I hear it scratching on the truck. I hear oh. it just like, and I mean, it's loud and I hear it like moving the truck. Oh, we had a big gigantic plastic container of water, like this big, it was several gallons. I hear, turn, and I hear it just get thrown. <gasps> like I hear this this thing like thrown like a good eight feet. Like Jesus. I'm like, it just threw, like, it just threw that. And then it's, bear works and out. then this is what's the scariest part. A bear is big and strong. I hear it trying to flip the car handles. It's legitimate, oh, I hear the no car handles. Way. So the bear Smart. was literally trying to do this and we we're just hearing it messing stuff up. We hear something get broken off. My brother turns to me, he goes, he goes, you hear that? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, he's like, it's messing up my truck. I'm like, yeah, it is. And he's just like, he's like, crap, I gotta, I, I, I gotta do something. I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> and, like, and it keeps messing up the truck. We keep hearing it like tear stuff up. My brother sits up with bear mace in one hand and a hatchet no, in the other. No, and no, he's no. about to unzip the tent. And I'm just like, I'm afraid to even look and see the bear, because for some reason I'm imagining I'll look and just the bear will be like, hey! And like, <laughs> like come at me. Um, he's about, he starts unzipping the tent, the front door, and then I hear the bear go away. That's that story. <laughs> that Holy is smokes. insane. Yeah, that, uh, it was scary. It was definitely wow. scary. Was your brother's car super messed up? So it ripped off, it, he had, uh, side view mirrors that didn't like detach, they were just like part of the car, and it just straight <coughs> ripped one off. And I'm talking like metal wiring and like cords and stuff just ripped. Uh, the, it had, um, it had thrown a, the five gallon thing of water just uh, like 10 feet. It had scraped, scraped up the car, there was like hair attached to parts of the car, just like Whoa. from it scraping up against it. And then uh, it had dug its nails into the windows and bent metal back. <gasps> Like straight up, like it was crazy. It probably like literally saw the package of it. Just wanted to, it just wanted Doritos. No, I mean the package was like <laughs> it was like one of those Doritos. plastic plastic crates that you like keep a bunch of stuff. You couldn't see the food, but it definitely smelled it from like two miles away. It wasn't a bear. It was just a huge, oh, huge stoner. Oh yeah. yeah, just like just like dude. <laughs> no, I remember Doritos. that. Was me. <laughs> it was just. Look at me, the it was just Wes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. cookies, um, pudding. Okay. Um, the year is 2010. <gasps> Good year. Um, 
I was ice climbing in Bolivia. Whoa. The mountain was Pequeño El Pamayo. Okay. And we set off for our summit. Uh, Is this uh, an Ernest Hemingway novel? <laughs> <laughs> South America was having very icy conditions that year. We were told not to climb this particular mountain because one week before somebody had a fall on that mountain and because you have to walk on ice and climb on ice, you have crampons which have spikies on mm -hmm. the bottom of your spikies, shoe. Yes. Um, this two person uh, climbing team fell and sliced uh, the the thigh of the other person with the crampons and the person passed away. Uh, um, so they told us, don't climb the mountain. Oh my god. So at midnight we started climbing the mountain. <laughs> it must have been around 4 or 5 a.m. We were close to the summit. Sun was starting to come up so you could see out. Um, we're very tired. It was very icy conditions. I, went a th I was on a three-man rope team. It was myself, my very good friend Michelle, and our mountain guide. And we were all roped in together. And um, I was the third person, and we'd been climbing for hours at that point. And I had my crampons in, I had my ice pick in, and I start to see the ice around the ice pick just shatter just a little bit. And I go, this is bad conditions. And my friend goes, it's all right. It's been like this for a while. I go, yeah, I think we're going down. And then in that moment, I feel a crack go in my, in my crampon. <gasps> and there's like a moment of like hovering. And then we all just slide down. We tumble and slide and all three of us are together. We all have ice picks, we all have crampons on. We all heard the story beforehand, so we're trying not to slice each other into pieces. We tumble for 150 feet down Glacier. And we had stopped right before we went into a crevasse. And like the crevasse was just like these like terrible icicles, just like like, like the most like hellish icicles yeah. just, if we had gone, maybe 75 more feet we would have been in that thing. So oh. good thing we didn't. All I remember while I was tumbling down is like, this is it. Half of my brain was saying like, this is it. This is how you die, Mari. And the other half, and I was saying out loud, no, over and over. I'm like, this is not how I die. I do not die like this and I do Whoa. not die today. And I was like, no, no, no. And like for 150 feet, it felt like it was in slow-mo. And I saw like my friend as we were tumbling. The, the moral of the story is, Listen to professionals when they tell you to do something or not to do something. Uh, if you need to hang up your food or not climb a mountain at a certain time, I would trust those people. Yeah. Trust those people. The moral of the story is, have fun, live your life. Yeah. yeah. No. No? Okay. No, no, no. Courtney, what's, what's yours? Uh, one time I got a real bad blister. <gasps> no! Shay, at cute Catan Dog. Good job. Three. Three. If you shit your pants Who's and you are at a party and, and it was really loud, what would you say to recover from it? <laughs> Wait. Oh, you, you shit. Shit. You're at a party. It? Your shit is really loud. So like everybody at the party knows that. No, you shit yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah you shit yourself. In really. your pants. Yeah, but it's really loud, so everybody's so everybody shart. Knows. Everyone it's hears a shart, a shart that was smells in. it. You shart and everybody's it's like, happening. huh? And they oh. all and look. Just there. What do you say? You just, yeah, I can't recover from that. Um, I think in one of those moments, that's one of those moments where it's not something that you say, like you just, you're just like dancing, whatever, and it's also, it's like, <laughs> and everybody's just like, huh? And you're like, That's, that's your moment to turn that party up, like yeah. bring it to the next level. And then everyone will with their pants. They're like, yeah. I want to be that guy. Everybody <laughs> shits themselves. It's that time of the night. And everyone's like, yeah. They're just you gotta for the drop. Yeah, yeah. If you if you sh yourself right when the beat drops, you're solid. <laughs> That's how they made dubs. Everybody's like, oh. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I don't. I'd be like, I sh myself like I'll go home. <laughs> I don't think I could recover. I should go, go home. <laughs> I should go home right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll go home. Because if you're dancing, you know someone's gonna get low and smell it and be like, oh, oh my god, this shit, this is going to shit herself. <laughs> I think that's gonna be me. Unless Smells Like Teen Spirit also comes on right there. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. 
Oh, uh, uh, it's so messy. It this is a good everywhere. question. Way to go, Shay. Yeah. Um, I would call the police. Where we ask you yeah. the question, and then you send us answers. Mm -hmm. This is the question. You're late. What's your craziest excuse? Our first answer comes from Sophie Eaton, at Sophie Eaton 27. I'm not late. I'm early for tomorrow. Hey! Uh, Clever. Keith has done this twice. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah, at Hannah the Dino, says, my dog ate my car. Mm, it happens. Big dog. By dog, you mean 500-pound bear. Oh, yeah. pretty much. Mm -hmm. Hey, good callback. Nice callback, uh. dude. <laughs> Holy I took cow, Improv 101. Hey! Oh, wow, you got some improv skills. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shelby Smash Lover 15 at Shelby 115 says, I was walking my ice cream. I mean, chasing my dreams. <laughs> this is something Olivia would say. She would definitely <laughs> verbatim say that. <laughs> Emma Snow at Emily Emica says, I was late to school and I said that I got hit by a car, which was actually true, but the teacher didn't believe me. Oh, oh God. No. She's like just destroyed. Like her leg is like bent up behind her back and she's just like, oh, I got hit by a car. And her teacher's like, mm, nice try. Okay, sit down. She's like, ah! And then we're done. That was all? That was that's all. It. That was it. The iPad machine says that's it. Yeah, and now it's just breaking. Yeah, it's, yeah, no, it's, it's on fire it's, yeah. on my it, lap. You don't oh, see it because yeah. we edited out the fire, but it's Editor, not. put in fire. <laughs> He's going to be like, nope. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just a big nope across nope. the top. That's funny. Oh, um, great. Post in the comments, guys, or tweet us with hashtag mm -hmm. AskSmosh with some questions. Let's get some big ones that makes us think about life. Draw us as mermaids. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I like okay. That. Hashtag mersmosh. Oh, I'm excited for this. At yes. hashtag mysmoshart. Do that as well. At? Hashtag or no, just hashtag, hashtag my smosh smosh art, art, hashtag, hashtag mersmosh. mersmosh. At hashtag. <laughs> At so hashtag excited. business. <laughs> Bye. 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 Will you marry me? Yes. Thanks for watching. Check back next week for more. In the meantime, click on the box things to watch other fun stuff.